So I'm here at the ID Tech X show with Manish from Altia. Uh, Altia is working on electronic shelf labeling solutions. And this is, I guess, it's not a new concept. It's been around for a while. However, it mm -hmm. really feels like it's taking off. We've seen more and more retailers adopting it. Why is that, Manish? Well, there are two reasons. One is uh, the need to be competitive with the online stores, with dynamic pricing. So if someone goes into a store, sees something, the retailers are worried that they would just check on Amazon and buy it there, so they right. lose a the sale. So they want the ability to be able to you know, be competitive there, change prices. The second one is uh, with growing labor costs, uh, being able to deal with um, uh, deal with you know the, the 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 need to manually change the paper label to right. keep up to date. Uh, need to be accurate, not make mistakes. Uh, that's what's driving me right now. So tell us about some of the different display technologies you have here. You're using sure. LCDs and e-paper. Like. Yeah, so the two primary technologies there is the uh, e-ink or e-paper, uh, which is similar to Kindle, but comes from Kindle. The second one is the uh, LCD. The, the big difference is the LCD is refreshing all the time, allows you to do animation, it's a cheaper technology. Uh, but sometimes the visibility is a little bit restricted from right. the angles. Uh, if you look at it from the side, uh, e-paper, aesthetically easier um, uh, to look at. Uh, it does not allow you to do some of the screen changes and animation, because every time you change a screen it, it uses power. How long do the batteries last on these types of devices typically? Uh, we guarantee for five years. Without wow. any battery, you, you, right. you can um, have it for five years. And Does by the e-paper last longer or is there not much difference? So the, the way we've done it, we've put enough batteries in each one so they would all uniformly last five years. So right. we put more or less battery depending on, on the needs right. of it. Uh, and you have some here with the spot red color, that's the new e-ink display technology. Here. Yeah, so certain uh, e-ink also allows you to have the option to have uh, multiple colors. The ones here is black, white, and red. There are also other ones that allow you to have yellow and other things in it. Um, so what sort of stores are using this? Is it normal grocery or is there a particular type like pharmacy stores that are adopting these shelf labels? So, so in the US, Kohl's department store, every Kohl's department store has their prices on our labels. Well, so each right. store has about 4,000. And there are about a thousand cold stores in the U.S. Uh, in Europe, especially in France, it is department stores, um, uh, grocery stores. Uh, there's a you know, Le Clerc chain, uh, which we have a couple of hundred uh, stores. We are also expanding into Italy and other areas. Uh, Why France? Um, the other countries in Europe. Well, I think there are two reasons. One is uh, the labor cost is a little bit higher. They also have certain regulations there which kind of don't permit uh, certain kind of advertisements on television. Yeah. So, it, you know, they need to be a lot more reactive to, right. to price changes and, and things like that. So having the tags allows them to do that really easily. Can you talk a bit about the infrastructure that's needed to update the messaging on the display? Sure. So we obviously make the devices along with the temperature sensors and out-of-stock sensors. So these you would put into, say, a freezer cabinet or a freezer Ex cabinet? Exactly. You put in a freezer cabinet. It will tell you if the temperature is not right. Uh, the other one is a out-of-stock sensor, which you know detects things in front of it, whether something's blocking it or not. It's got a light photo detector in. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so there, there are the tags. They talk using a very low-power, highly scalable RF to our access points. Uh, one access point can control 50,000 square feet and 50,000 sensors in the store. Uh, so there's that, and then there's enterprise software integration to point of sale systems in the back that we also sell. Great, Manish, thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by.